What's going on guys, it's Warrell Thomas, your favorite real estate agent. And today we're back in Roswell, Georgia, checking out this like new townhouse. Now I say like new because this one was built in 2020, um, but the upkeep was done very well. And as we walk through, you can't even tell it's been lived in, but it is here and available for sale. So we're gonna check it out. We're gonna do a tour inside and outside, talk about the area a little bit and um, Hopefully this could be your next home or a friend or families of yours next home. So let's check it out. So again, we are in Roswell, Georgia. This neighborhood is called Aurora Park. All these were built in 2020. And they all pretty much look the same, but it's a nice aesthetic outside. Just pretty clean, very nice to look at and the same kind of characteristics carry on inside. So we'll check it out. So y'all know I love the city of Roswell. It has the most parks of any city in the United States, um, but it's not just about parks. It's about all the other things that they have to offer. Um, so even from this townhouse, you are walking distance from pretty much everything that you need. There's a plaza um, less than five minutes of walking right outside of here. So got plenty of food, whether it's fast food or um, a little bit of upgraded dining, um, plenty of places to shop, grocery shopping, and that's walking distance as well. Um, even outside of walking distance in a very, very short drive and around the corner, you have a mall, I believe it's North Lake Mall. You have plenty of places to eat, plenty of parks. And then in Roswell, there's just always something going on every weekend. Not too far from Canton Street, but you're not in walking distance to Canton Street, but that's fine. So here we are inside of this house or this townhouse anyway. It is a three level townhouse. You have one bedroom and a bathroom on this bottom level here. And that's where we walked into. It has a total of four bedrooms in this townhouse. So this can make a really nice guest suite if you just kind of want them to not really be, you know, all up in your space. They would be a little further away from you here. Um, so that's the front door that we came in through. So down here on this level, you just have a bathroom, bedroom, uh, this kind of foyer area, and then you have your garage as well. So before we go upstairs, we're gonna check out the garage. You do have like a little mud room right here. A mud room section. That's a nice little touch. And here is the garage. So one of my viewers commented on my, um, my video. And in one of the houses, he said the garage was so small, he don't believe a car can go in there. Now, funny enough, there's this huge news report, and I can't remember the name of the uh, new construction development, but it's in South Georgia, where the builder <laughs> built some of the units in there that cannot even fit a full-size car. So here, I just wanted to show you that this garage can fit a car. I don't know if my car would be considered a full-size car. This is a Tesla Model 3. So it's about the same size as like a BMW M4. Um, but even if you had a full-size car, full-size SUV, it would fit in here no problem at all. So you can see my car is on one side of the, the garage. And even though it's on this side, you still got plenty of space for the uh, garbage cans as well. And then you have this space wide open right here. So plenty of space in this garage. Ceilings are uh, pretty tall, so you got additional space for storage, as you can see. And then just like a your utility closets in here too. There she go. One upgraded touch. They did do the floors in here. You don't see that much often. Um, I don't know if this came with the house or if the, uh, the current owners did this to the floors. Anyway, a nice touch. So this townhouse is currently on the market for $690,000. $690,000 this is going for. I know I might get beat up on price a little bit because I have been on a few videos, but I want to explain something to you guys. I want to explain a couple things. 
Um, one, just where we're at right now, you got to understand that it's supply and demand. Um, not a lot of people are selling their houses and there's a lot of buyers that want to buy. So that's naturally going to drive up the prices. Atlanta is one of those places that a lot of people are migrating to and not from. And in the grand scheme of things, when you consider other places like California, New York, um, we are very affordable to them. And I even have some of my viewers in the comments chime in from time to time when they are from New York and California. The comments from people from New York and California versus the ones that live in the South um, and are kind of used to these prices is completely different. We got the people who are, you know, who's been living here for a while who says that these prices are absurd. And then we have people from California and New York who thinks these prices are amazing. So that's very interesting. And then two, you gotta understand, because a lot of people will say, hey, that house is a teardown, or that house is not worth the money. You're right, the house itself may not be worth the money, but the land is what's valuable. The land under that house is very valuable. So house, houses actually depreciate, and that's why you can you know, get credit for depreciation on your taxes, but the land itself appreciates. So we are here in the kitchen. They did a very good job with this space. That's one thing you're gonna see about this townhouse is that they did very good. Like you just have space to move around. Nothing feels cramped, nothing feels small. On this level, you don't have a weird, you know, floor plan. It's just a huge rectangle, just shotgun that way. So you can't be too mad at the space. Not too many intrusions. And I really like the color scheme that they got going on. So they have the white uh, cabinets with the white quartz countertops. And I'll get a little more detailed on the countertops there so you can see. Sorry about the reflections of the light. Stainless steel appliances, of course. I like these, um, these bigger pendant lighting over the countertops. Give it a nice luxury feel. I like the choice of uh, the hood vent that they went here with here. Again, a nice luxury feel as well. So for the price point, you do get a lot of things that definitely match. And then again, just a lot of space in here. So you have, I believe these are 10 foot ceilings. So that always makes the face, place feel like it has a lot of space. Um, but one thing you're gonna notice, like that door there and this door here, I believe these are nine feet door, nine foot doors. And um, anytime you see doors that big, and you open them, it just makes you feel like you're in something just so grand. Um, so they have some of these really nice touches throughout. Definitely do like this backsplash. This gray does give it a nice contrast and very neatly done as well. Shout out to the uh, listing agent, Eddie Morales, for allowing me to uh, tour this today. He looks like he does a really good job with his marketing, has uh, treats out for for his uh, people who are checking this place out. So that's very nice. So this is the kitchen. Just got some Whirlpool appliances as well. You got the built-ins here. Everybody loves built-ins. So you got the built-in microwave, built-in oven, and then your refrigerator, and just a lot of cabinets all the way throughout. So I live in a townhouse myself. I'm more so in Marietta. Mine is not as big as this. Um, and I definitely don't have this many cabinets in mind. So. Very, very good job with this space. So again, this is a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom townhome. And it also has 2295 square feet. So let's take a look at the pantry before we leave the kitchen. I'm sorry, I've been hanging out here for a little while. Walk-in pantry, again, lots of space. Look at this, I'm all the way inside. My back's against one of the, um, the shelves here and we just got plenty of space. Very nice. You do have a powder room on this level, as expected. Pretty straightforward. I do like how the floors just continue into here. That's one thing I'm a fan of. Y'all let me know if you, in the comment if you're a fan of it as well. Do you like the floors just continuous and the same in pretty much every room? And I mainly mean the kitchen and bathrooms because we're seeing a lot of that nowadays, especially with these uh, this, these uh, LVP flooring. 
It is pretty versatile. So I'll get you a closer look at the floors. I will say that to me anyway, they look better in person than they do on video. So that's beautiful. Sorry about the person that's um, honking that horn outside. I don't know what's going on with that. But yeah, so I really do like these LVP flooring. Um, give it a nice elegant look. I'll get a little bit closer since they look shiny on camera. And I do like the wide plank flooring. That is the new look nowadays. That's the more luxury look. We're seeing that on a lot of new construction. And you, you know, sometimes uh, people wonder why you go with LVP, why would you go with laminate, uh, or why would you do wood, which one's best. And it all depends on your preference. So something like LVP is very durable. If you have pets, it won't scratch as easily. And that's the problem with wood sometimes. You have wood and then you, uh, you, know, you put your finishing coats on there. And even, you know, like my dress shoes can scratch that just walking through without doing that on purpose. Um, so that's kind of the downfall of wood sometimes. So here is another look at the living room. And we'll just get a little close up on the fireplace here. Again, very nice touch. You'll see some of the uh, glass and some of the decorations that they got in there to make that pop. You've got this tile background going all the way up to the top here. And again, with the color scheme and the color matching, um, you know, just a light contrast, but everything is cohesive down here. That is it for this level. I did forget to mention the schools, which are going to be Vickery Mill Elementary School, Elkins Point Middle School, and Roswell High School. You can use greatschools.org to check the ratings of the school, but Roswell is known for its school system as well. So you actually have wood floors going up the steps, and then we're back to the LVP. Good. So up here you have three bedrooms. You have your two guest bedrooms here to the left, and we'll just kind of take a peek in. Guest bedroom number one. All right. You can get a queen bed in here. It does pass the Worrell test for queen beds. A king, it might be all bed, to be honest. Um, but definitely a good size uh, guest room. You know, if you have kids or anything like that, this would definitely get the job done. You got a whole walk-in closet here. Can't be mad at that. And we'll look at bedroom number two. This one is about the same size, probably exactly the same size. Same thing, the only difference is closet isn't gonna be as big because you got the bathroom behind it, but we'll take a look at it. I want to say these walls are agreeable gray, but for some reason they just look a slightly bit lighter than the agreeable gray. So I could be wrong, but it is, it looks like a shade of gray, but then in the hallway, unless that's, I don't know, it could be the lighting. Cause out here in the hallway, this definitely looks white. All right, so here's your guest bedroom for the two bedrooms we just seen in there. And then check out the tile on the floor. Now, who said new construction homes don't have any character? Because this tile definitely have all the character that you'll need out of a house. So very nicely done. I like the uh, choice of tile that they use back there. And then, um, you know, whoever put the design together did a really good job with kind of matching, having some of those tones on the floor here too. So very nice guest room. But I mean, sorry, guest bathroom. Linen closet. And up here you get pretty tall ceilings too. LED lights everywhere. Here's your washer and dryer. Pretty straightforward. And then here is the primary suite. Should be nice to turn the lights on, right? That's what your primary looks like. Your little tray ceilings in there. I love how this house has LED lighting everywhere. 
somewhat recessed. So it's not a lot of lighting fixtures, just all over the place. So tall ceilings in here. Um, the bedrooms do all come with carpet. Of course, all the carpet looks and feels brand new. This house was only built in 2020. So we'll take a look at the bathroom and then finish off with that closet there. All right. So here we are in the primary use bathroom. Of course, you get the um, double vanities. They kind of match the aesthetic of downstairs, right? You got the white countertops with the white cabinets. Then you got this tile again. So pretty much matching throughout the house with some of the tile selections as well. Because this matches the tile that's on the fireplace. You got a standing shower. And then your powder room. Or yeah, your water closet, I'm sorry. And that wraps it up for upstairs on this house. We're gonna take a look at the closet. This is a lot of space in this closet. I'm gonna actually walk in so you can see. So I'm standing inside. You can see all of the shelving. So again, beautiful home, amazing place to live. And if you wanna have some fun, Top Golf is up the street, main event is up the street, everything that you would need. You have the Ameris Bank Amphitheater, not too far away. Nobody can ever complain about finding food, groceries, if you want to shop for clothes, if you just want to hang out with people. There's places for everything around here in almost walking distance. We're pretty close to the highway. Um, Georgia 400 is right up the street. One of your main arteries, Holcomb Bridge Road, is right up the street as well. One thing I did forget to show you, this does have a Juliet balcony facing the front. You know, from the outside, I've never really been a big fan of Juliet balconies, but um, knowing how hot it gets here in the summertime, having this feature is not too bad. It, it kind of really do let the outside come inside a little bit. There's your Juliet balcony. And one last thing I wanted to show you was the balcony off the back of the house. If you get one of those two, and this one you can actually go outside and do something with. So here she is. So you can see you do have some privacy because they put that wall up there, which is very nice. It's a bit open over here, but everybody's across the way from you. These are kind of what the backyards look like. So you have a little bit of covered space to park and then you have your garage as well. So that pretty much wraps up the tour for this house. Your yeah, HOA is gonna be 2,400 for the year. Um, this one doesn't have a lot of amenities in it. So it doesn't have like swimming tennis, um, but you have plenty of those in the area. That's what people like to do around here. Tennis, golf, anything you're looking for, you can find it. So that wraps up the tour. If you know anybody that's looking, please let them know. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the page. And as always, stay tuned. Turn the notification bell on so I can make your next move your best move.